I wanted to share some things I learned from chatting with Anusha before I forgot the little details. She's a mechanical engineer and works with the body and white team at Aptera. I don't have any audio of this. Just started chatting with her at the Aptera booth on the second day. After a few minutes, I wish I had it recorded. I didn't want to pull out the camera and mics at that point. When those are out, it's not as a relaxing back and forth chat. She mentioned that she used to help build fighter jets. With Aptera, she's working on the composite structure of the vehicle. Early on when Aptera launched in 2020, back then Aptera talked about the composite structure being hemp fiber, carbon fiber, and Kevlar. Anusha said back then they didn't have a lot of pre-orders yet. Once they started getting over 10,000 pre-orders and beyond, currently last reported they are at 33,000, probably even more now. So she mentioned that the hemp fiber, carbon fiber, and Kevlar composite structure was hard to scale up at that production in reality. It hasn't been done in large numbers before. If you think about supercars, those are very small batches of cars made at a time. The beta vehicle is a very tough test vehicle, and that was made from fiberglass reinforced composite. It's held up to all sorts of abuse such as driving over a curb at 45 miles an hour and the tires blew, but nothing on the Aptera broke. Just put on a new fresh set of tires and kept going. Even the wheel motors were fine. Aptera is still determining the best composite structure through various computer models, stress testing, etc. Just like what they did with their aerodynamics, optimizing it over and over. I was curious how the metal parts connected to the composite body, battery, suspension, etc. since it didn't seem right to bolt straight to the composite. She mentioned they make a larger diameter area around the bolt and put in a metal insert to spread the stress of the clamping force. For example, on the Alpha models, this metal insert was embedded within the composite, which is a little harder to do. On Beta, they placed the metal insert on top of the composite instead. This may change for delta and production. The composite is thicker than the sheet metal used in traditional cars. What this helps with is better insulation, less road noise, less heat and cold getting into the cabin, shrugs off, impacts, and just bounces back. It's an amazing structure. Some parts of the composite is thicker or thinner depending on the need. For example, the A pillar is thicker to take and transfer the energy from a crash. You need to have a clean room when creating composites, just like with the solar panels. You have a net for your hair, clean shoes, clothes, etc. I asked why the composite has a green tint to it. She mentioned it was due to the binders or resin used. I'm confident she will find a great solution for the production model that will scale well. She has passion for what she does and she's excited by the work she does. You can feel it just like with every other employee I chatted with. You will see the fruits of labor from all the talented and passionate people at Terra. It was an exciting time.